Next up on WTV, Ford election early voting, this week's edition of Real Talk, and today's sports. WTV's daily update starts now. Hey there, Hawk Nation. Today is Friday, April 19th, and I'm Karina Grosko with today's daily update, brought to you by Wingspan TV. Early voting for the 2024 school board election starts Monday. WTV Sadie Johnson has the details. Early voting for school board members in places 6 and 7 begins today and will end on Tuesday, April 30th. Fred Kaiser and Sherry Salas will be running for place 6, while Melanie Berrios-Jones and Keith Maddox are running for place 7. There are many voting locations all around the county, but the closest to campus will be the Frisco Fire Station number 8 on Rolliter. All members of the community are encouraged to show up to the polls and cast their vote. Voting early allows voters to get their vote in before the election day. Official election day will be Saturday, May 4th. Reporting for WTV, I'm Sadie Johnson. While the 2024 Summer Olympics are for a few months, Partners PE students are competing today. WT's Joaquin Perez has a story. Students and Partners PE are at the Special Olympics all day today to compete in track and field events. These events include a throwing event, a running event, and a relay event. For senior Matthew Doe, who will be competing at the Special Olympics, is excited to bring home medals. I'm so excited for the Special Olympics, winning some gold medals, seeing all the different kids from different schools, then run across the track and win some, home the whole, bring on the home medals. For the past two months, students and partners of SPE have been practicing for track and field to be successful. Uh, we've been practicing for the track one, so the, the kids go to the track and they've been throwing the javelin and softball, so I'm really excited. Students who participate in Special Olympics, including Doe, enjoy seeing their classmates support at these events. Everyone will be cheering for me, all the, all the, especially all the juniors supposed to cheer on for us, and especially for all the PE coaches who will cheer on for us. For many students on campus, events like these allow for inclusion. I think it's important to have Special Olympics so everyone can feel included and they can do things like they got to do basketball last time and now they get to do track so they can feel included with everyone else. Reporting for WTV, I'm Joaquin oh, Perez. That's the one. Yes! With the end of the year approaching, PTSA is offering the opportunity to thank your teachers. WTV has a story. From now until April 27th, students have the opportunity to show appreciation for their teachers by getting them their favorite sonic drink or candy. For PTSA staff liaison Kenneth Schumo, this program is a great way for students to thank their teachers. Our teachers are extremely appreciated by our community, so something that our PTSA organized was uh, getting teachers their favorite sonic drinks, uh, and that will be funded by uh, gracious donations by our communities. For $3, students can send a note along with a drink or candy to their desired teacher. To purchase a thank you for a teacher, scan the QR code on screen. Reporting for WTV, I'm Lauren Pratt. On this week's edition of Real Talk, WT's Natalia Soto asked students about their favorite teachers. Hey there, Red Hawks. It's Natalia Soto with another edition of Real Talk. And today, I'm going to be asking students about their favorite teachers. Who is your favorite teacher? Miss Cantrell. Miss Cantrell. Mr. J. I say Mr. Rotan. What makes that teacher a, your favorite? Um, he's just straight up, he keeps it real with the people, and uh, he just knows how to talk to people. Um, she's really nice and really understanding, because she's very nice and easy to talk to, and she's always there if you're having a bad day. Um, he's just really fun in class, and his stories are really interesting, and he makes a kind of boring class more fun. Reporting for WTV, I'm Natalia Soto. <laughs> On today's sports, WT's Ryan Shapiro brings you a look into Red Hawk Athletics. Finishing their season on Tuesday, softball visited Lebanon Trail, hoping to end on a win. The Red Hawks were unable to pull out the win in a close game, losing 4-3. Baseball looked to get a little closer to clinching a playoff spot on Tuesday, looking to notch a win on the district-leading Memorial Warriors. The Warriors jumped on the Red Hawks early, not looking back, beating them 15-3. The Red Hawks hit the road for the second game against the Warriors as they now sit in a tie with the Centennial Titans for third place. Today and tomorrow, track and field will be competing in the Region 2 5A meet. After successful district and area meets, the Red Hawks have a total of 12 athletes at the regional meet. The Red Hawks are currently underway at UT Arlington and will be going all day and then start at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Reporting for WTV, I'm Ryan Shapiro. 
If you're looking for more from Wingspan, you can follow us at Liberty Wingspan on X, Instagram, and Facebook, or visit our award winning website, libertywingspan.com. That's it for today's daily update. This is Karina Goska for Wingspan TV.